Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play UFO Defense Open XCOM. So we're about to intercept or recover this UFO. Uh, we have managed to crash this mutant scout near one of their base and um, they're trying to still infiltrate North America or they're trying to move somewhere from North America so maybe if I can stop them it's going to uh, maybe uh, delay their plans to expand. I'm sure that they already took over North America and South America so the next target obviously is Europe which is uh, near where my next base is located so yeah it's a race against time and the resources and and other things so we have to prepare our guys to be sent out and i think i did it for the most part yeah they're all full and equipment is already a plasma clip with heavy plasma guns because we are now facing mutants we have plenty of smoke grenade i guess i need to order a bit more uh, maybe i did order a bit more uh, let me see base information transfers and you can see that well okay yeah we've ordered 20 it's gonna arrive in 13 hours along with all these guys that i probably just um purchased or contract with just to see whether we can have more brave guys although i now believe that i think i mentioned it last episode too the bravery doesn't really matter in terms of their psi uh, strength or ability more specifically how they are able to uh, withstand psi attacks i had uh, this guy called Homegrand, and he was he was a pretty brave guy around 50 to 60 but then he just couldn't function as a able soldier in that base attack ill-fated base attack where there was a squad wipe so yeah it was kind of unfortunate and rather useless well not useless because he was able to survive and then come to his senses, but he was not the same after that. Medikit is able to provide some kind of um, boost to the morale, but I think that's kind of hard to do. So I'm gonna send these guys to the crash site, and oh, there's Vancouver. And um, yeah, they're moving, they're really quick now. Lightning, lightning quick, as implied by the, the craft name itself. Uh, Sky Ranger is probably one fifth the speed of lightning. Um, so I'm right now researching other craft called Ultimate Craft. Um, it's um, going pretty well, going along at a good clip. So we might be able to see what this is all about. And the next up is going to be, yeah, I'm rather interested in Blaster Launcher because the alien commander in that. Uh, Alien base attack used it against us multiple times and uh, that was uh, what really broke the camel's back and just obliterated our forces, what remained our forces after a hard fight. Um, and he was able to just destroy a whole swath of sections of alien uh, base, although I think if I go back there, I think they probably all restored it to where it was, speak and span once again, to the point before it was attacked. Uh, that's unfortunate, but that's why it is. And um, and after that, going to go for, I don't know, um, other plasma technology or some of the alien things here that I need to still research for some background information or something. But I think the autopsies and interrogation for that matter do not really reveal any interesting, well, not interesting information, but they don't really reveal any critical uh, research information that you can make use of to gain the advantage or you know to another breakthrough technology that allows us to build new weapons i don't think it really does that i think enemy unknown changes a bit in order to make them more rewarding in a way uh, autopsies give you some uh, technology to equip on your soldiers and interrogation gives you credit for more research i don't know whether this game does it just uh, gives you um, interesting information about how to fight the aliens for example whether it is side based or has some kind of melee attack something like that and also it gives you credit for something called alien origins which is technology i'm sure that is going to be very important later down the road so it's been 23rd mission already um trying to recover the ufo
And here we have all these guys. Yeah, so some of them have medikits. Fortunately, most of them have medikits. Well, not most of them, but all the medikits are on the squad. And I think I have around 12. I think I filled up the filled up the this craft with soldiers. And um, HWP is also. Uh, I was tempted to bring a like, laser tank. I have a laser tank, in fact. But uh, I think it's gonna take up four spaces. So I mean, any soldiers is kind of cutting really close against um, even small UFO. So yeah, I um, decided against that and just bring all the crew members. Uh, I think they're all set. I guess I need to give some of these guys more smoke grenade, just in case. Yeah, I still using smoke grenade. I think it's still pretty important. Yeah, I haven't really changed my opinion on that. Even though I think its effectiveness is not as great as I once thought it was. Uh, overall, I think we are ready to go. Yeah, and then you can see all this uh, crazy stuff. I think this is alien power source in the UFO. So let's uh, charge up the smoke grenade. Okay, maybe not this guy, but this guy. Prime it. Yeah, don't hear anything. So I don't know what that means. Let's open the door and yeah, I just don't know how to actually do it in the, in the first time. So we have some couple of um, flying suits with the guys. All right, now we find uh, this guy really far away. Wonder if he's able to see me. All right. Yeah, it's good that I can probably get out, right? Yeah. And now this guy is able to perhaps shoot. Nope. Need to get out onto the ramp. All right. Just shooting. So we have 13 left, which not good. All right, so one more chance, and then we have to. So this guy is practically flying on the air right now. Just one more shot, please. Didn't work. Okay. Again, let's try to open the door. All right, this time worked. Uh, this guy has moved really close. I think I can still crouch in the air and then shoot. Good shot. Now we can get out using the other guy. Let's see if I can get out. And just survey the immediate area. All right, I don't see anybody. Okay, and let's get you also out. So this is like a little bit of valley here. I mean, there's a little hill. Um, can definitely fly up and then see a bit more, I think. You can probably try that with some of the flying suit guys. Uh, six, okay. So yeah, they're flying. This guy's also flying, I think. Sounds pretty cool. Every one of these guys we need to... Oh, okay. Yeah. Need to crouch. Alright. So, let's see if I can get this guy up. Oh, we see... Yeah, so immediately I spy a guy. Where is this guy? I don't know. Where? Oh, here. Ah, okay. Can I shoot from here? Yeah, he's really hurt. 
needs to get down if you can can you get down or can you fly away I think you should just get down. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody needs to heal you up pretty quickly. Can I shoot from here? Okay. It's a long way, but. Um, okay, good job. Yeah, so. Sheng Yong. This guy, Sheng Yong. Sheng Yong. Yeah, Sheng Yong was able to do pretty well scouting. And I need a guy to heal him up. Uh, let me just see who has a medical kit. He's probably... Oh, he himself has medical kit. I wonder how that works. Lucien, can you get down, please? And you can probably get use of this next turn. Sing Yong has... Uh, yeah, he's a bit... He's in trouble right now, so you need to hit him up. I think he'll be wounded for a long, long time. Alright, Kate, do you have a flying suit? Yes, you do. You just have to get out of this area a bit. Just walk outside this and have a look. Um, I wonder how 24. Yeah, you can see a bit better. I don't see right now anybody, so I just come back down. Okay, don't, don't worry about kneeling here. Just need to get down. Right now, use medicate and this guy's horse is hurt for 3 damage or 3 critical wounds. Um, that was not that great. Alright, so let's give him all this and then uh, this guy is back to fighting form, at least for one more turn. Okay, Kate, can you go up once again and see? Scott. Yeah, this is pretty good. You can basically see to the edge of the map here, and I think from the smoke below in here, there's a UFO. Uh, so, we can probably make use of these trees to go closer, get close. See if I can throw it right here, and then try to get close. Come down. Get some of these guys out. A nifty looking craft for sure. Um, it's a shame that we cannot carry a bit more. I mean, I mean, there's like a little other spaces where they can stand, but 12 it is. That is regulation. Alright, so now this guy is relegated to sniping. I don't think he's gonna mind. Um, I think I need to get one more guy out if possible. Yeah, this guy, if he can get to the ground. Wait. Um, yeah, now he is all enveloped in smoke and we can probably have a look. With Kate once again here, our designated scout in the air. I don't really see anything. Nope. Okay. Good job. Now let's try to park ourselves behind some cover here. Okay. It's kind of hard to see, and the smoke, you can see the graphics on multiple levels. At least if I go down a level, then it disappears. Yeah, it just tells you pretty explicitly um, what level I am on right now. I think we are, all this area is enveloped in smoke, so no worries of being detected or anything like that. Okay. Well, interesting name, Harvard Hust... Hust... Hustbait. Yeah, very interesting names. So our medic here is going to follow them. I'm sure there's another medic here inside. 
Oh, there's a motion sensor guy too. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really used a lot of motion sensor lately. Although I should be using it. Especially, I should have used it in the alien base attack. I just completely forgot about it. Just doesn't make sense why. Yeah, these are all our guys right now. Um, Shigeo Shibata. Right, so we have a lot of guys outside right now. And I don't really hear a lot of um, alien activity. Maybe, yeah, the aliens did not survive. A lot of them just died outright. See them? Okay, calm down. Okay. Alright, next up is this guy. Let's see if I can move a bit closer. Yeah, now you see the alien craft. It's uh, in very bad, bad um, disrepair. bit by bit checking the corners oh my goodness all right you found a way to actually can you crouch or are you in the air i think he's in the air right now yeah i think he's in the air but just behind the cover so i guess it doesn't really matter like he be still be behind cover kind of hard to tell in enemy unknown there's like a little shield that indicates whether you're under cover or not it's pretty nifty system, to be sure. Okay. I think this is good enough. Um, these guys will try to follow. And some of these guys will have to have... Um, smoke grenade ready. Just in case. Okay. Shigeo, where are you? Here, here you are. So, can you move? Oh, you, you're blocked. Okay, this guy is blocking you. Uh, this guy is a pretty experienced guy, so I don't want to lose him. Okay, let's ask to the map. I don't notice anything. Alright, let's see what happens. This whole area now, this is really wow. I mean, surprised if we have only like like four or three more aliens to deal with, or even less than that. I won't be surprised because this is like I don't think we're gonna get any um, artifact or anything like that. Yeah, this total, total basically. Let's have a closer look here. Oh, okay. Yeah, alright. He's just right in front of um, the entrance here. Let's see if this guy can shoot really far away by just increasing his height. Um, I wonder if I can actually at least try it and see whether it actually can aim. Say now you have time units, so maybe he is able to target it from that afar. But for now, I think um, just okay. Um, yeah, just come down a bit. I don't know what is happening right there with Shing. Uh, I need more practice. Wait, well, two of them is able to see now. Oh, reaction shot. You aim wrong, unfortunately. I aim wrong, sorry. I aim wrong, it's my fault. Yeah. Oh, good shot. Yeah, you can see the interior of the alien craft is destroyed. I think that was it. Oops. Yeah, okay, there are two of them. <laughs> that was wrong. Alright, Kate, it's your job to see whether 
Is this guy hurt? Nope. Fortunately not, but it was an alien grenade and um, it was destructive. And I cannot see anybody from there. It's, oh, gosh, all right. Um, I wonder why she doesn't have to see. Can she still? No, she cannot. All right. Um. Okay, good. Yeah, so they're like scouting on the edge of the map and then was able to track us where we are. Right where, uh, right where they wanted us. I was able to throw alien grenade, but fortunately, because of the craft, I was able to withstand it, survived. And let's see if uh, Xing Yong here is able to... Uh, I don't think this is going to happen. Yeah, there's just too many obstacles. I think um, I will just get these guys to deal with it. Um, maybe I can throw a grenade if I can, but... Um, I mean, I can still see this guy, right? Can I shoot? No. I can still see him, but the uh, line of fire is preventing me. Um, if uh, my attack doesn't work, if Harvard here fails, then... Yeah, he did it. There's no worries there. Thing is whether there are more. Okay, that was it. Alright. So, 5 aliens killed, 7 corpses recovered, and 4 artifacts. Uh, 3 alien alloys, as you can see, the UFO was totally destroyed, so I wasn't able to get a lot of stuff from it. Um, right, so a lot of promotions, of course, I mean, all my other guys previously perished in the alien base attack. So, some promotion is in order. I don't think it really matters what kind of experience you have. As long as you have a lot of men, a certain portion of a little bit of experience gives you that promotion. And I don't know whether that... I don't think it really does um, matter in terms of their skills. But what it does is, I think... A... Oh wow, okay. Ultimate craft is completed. I wonder what this is. This is going to be the breakthrough moment for us. Um, I mean, it says ultimate. So, I mean, I have ultimate weapon in plasma. I have ultimate craft in this. And yeah, and... Um, I have to have one more, one more um, weather drawn up process, and I think I'll be in a, dare I say it, good footing. Once again. Oh wow, Avenger, right. Uh, transporter and combat spacecraft, the ultimate replication of alien technology. This is the ultimate craft. Uh, maximum speed is 5400, acceleration 10, fuel capacity 60, two pods, which is good. Damage capacity seems really high, and cargo space 26. Now, this is really important because I can bring um, 26 men to one mission, so I think this is perfect for supply ship raid and alien base attacks. And I can also bring four HWPs. Wow, four HWPs. I never even imagined that would be possible. It must have a really big ramp. Um, compared to Interceptor, is twice as fast and it can accelerate three times as fast can withstand 12 times more attacks i think this will cost probably two million dollars um all right so let's allocate research into something um yeah blaster launcher i'm very interested in making use of this in alien base attacks very interested Alright, so let's see if I can produce Avenger. Uh, I wonder how much it costs. 900,000? Doesn't really take a lot of... Um, yeah, I mean... It does take up a lot of alloys, but... In terms of navigation power source, only requires two? Wow, okay. Uh, and 900,000 is a hefty price for sure, but... You don't have to rent interceptors anymore. And it can act both as an interceptor and transporter which is going to probably pay for itself down the road. Um, so very interesting development. Very interesting development for sure. So some soldiers are wounded. Xing Yong takes only five days to heal though, which is good. Okay, let's see if we can sell stuff here. Yeah, we got some aliens. We'll probably sell this. And some equipment too. 
You got some uh, heavy plasma, so you can sell probably around five. Yeah, still, I mean, already we are able to get one million dollars or so just selling this, and we have like almost um, a lot of plasma clip. I wouldn't really guess that I would have this amount. Um, yeah, so this is pretty good price right now. And I don't think this is going to depreciate down the road. And we have 30 blaster bombs and 5 blaster launchers, so I think we can make use of this later down the road. Especially when you're going up against the alien base. Alien base do yield a lot of stuff if you take it over intact. But the price is just too great to try to take it over. Especially when you go up against sectoids and other aliens. And I begin to believe that I was really lucky in that base attack against the, the first base attack, the mutant base. I was really lucky. And it seems like I have two alien containment. I already made this facility by making another one for some reason. <laughs> Maybe I should cancel it. Can I get the money back? Probably not, so uh, I just have to <laughs> leave with it. Um, thinking of building a hyper wave decoder here. Or maybe missile defense system? I'm not so sure what I should be building. What do I lack here? Another storage? I have two stores, so no problems there. I think I need a workshop or laboratory. Or more living quarters. I think we have enough living quarters. I think we need to have uh, some kind of defense. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, slowly we need to move to build that Avenger after the laser is finished. I think that is paramount for us to really advance in our in this game. Yeah, need the Avenger, need to retire the interceptors, need to build lightning or firestorm in the other base. So I'm going to go with that. And um, speaking of that, speaking of building firestorms and stuff like that, I think I need to hire more engineers here. Uh, right now it's uh, 21st, so I don't want to really pay for like 10 days worth of engineers. Okay, so I wait here, um, but probably need to add more engineers soon. Yeah, I think I need to add more engineers and then... Yeah, I have a lot of living quarters, so I think that is the only thing that I can do right now. 10 more and maybe 5. Yeah, 10 is probably the right number for now. And here... Um, I have 40... 5 more. I think it's adequate to survive another month. Alright, so the laser rifle is being constructed. Um, Alright, so these guys arrived, so let's add you to manufacture laser cannons right now. After that, I'm gonna... These guys arrived, alright. So, let's have a look. There's rookies. Five rookies, alright, so every other guys... Okay, yeah, so there's some other rookies too, but... These guys are the ones who arrived. Bravery 60, he's a keeper. Another really good bravery guy. Decent, not great. Uh, no Min, no Min J, get a no. And uh, Savalanian, Savalainen, pretty good. Yeah, so we got four out of five who's um, brave, so. <laughs> Maybe I should check the other, um... sorry, I just checked bravery. This guy is pretty good. Yeah, this guy's assault guy. I stopped naming these guys because I keep losing them and I thought that maybe it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't think it really matters whether they're scouts or not. Um, 70s, this guy's really good. 
Yeah, all pretty decent accuracy. Yeah, all pretty decent accuracy and pretty evil guys. I don't know why, but getting a bit lucky here. Alright, so like no activities from the UFOs or alien side. I don't know about their planning. Last month was one of the worst months I ever had. It was around negative thousand or so. So yeah, so that's not that good. Um not good at all. It's gonna be a firestorm. Four hundred thousand. Uh, how much money do I have? Maybe I should keep making how much money do I have? Five million? Okay. Oops. I was thinking about... Yeah, I was trying to see this. And then we're going to be down... Around three million. Total means 5.5 .5 million. Is it? I'm not so sure what that means. Five point... Base information. Monthly cost. Income, four million. Maintenance, 7.3. Um... All right, so total means, yeah, here is 5.5 5 .5 million in maintenance fee for this base. Lotus probably 1.8. So it will be down 3.3 .3 million. I think I need to retire the, yeah, I think I need to get this off and build the, yeah. That's, uh, I think I'm making a mistake right now, but I don't think I can afford this anymore. I need to sell, sell or sack the craft, unfortunately. Not this one, but this one. Maybe I should unload the craft first. None, none. I don't know why I'm just so um, hell-bent in getting this thing off because I still have 10 days left. I need to make use of these guys as much as possible. Yeah, I made a mistake there. But before the end of the month, I have to retire them without question. Because I'd be down like $3.3 .3 million and uh, that's not going to cut it. Maybe I should be uh, starting to build... Uh, so I'd be down $3.3 .3 million, which is going to leave me around one point. Yeah. So I need to, yeah, I get lightning started here. 600,000. Um, I don't have any alien alloys. Okay. All right. I need to transfer alien alloys from this base to the other one. Um, equipment, no, component. around 50 and around 100 I think to build the uh, alien craft you need to also get them some some of these and what else can I give them some smoke grenade too Five. I guess I can give them instead the rifle here. Yeah, I don't really use it right now, but then for defense purposes, it might be useful. Um, and uh, two flying suits. Okay. Um, I think this will do. Yeah, I already have ten laser rifles there, so I think we have plenty of weapons. Tank laser cannon, sure. Let's um, see what else. Craft armament. Okay. And after that, we're going to have to build a uh, craft. Alright, these guys need to build a. Uh... Yeah, I think I need to build Avenger. 900,000, huh? Okay. No free hangars for craft production. Ah, okay. Alright. 
So what I'm going to do is uh, get this interceptor away. Uh, do I have to transfer once again personnel or craft? Okay. Oh. You can just fly there. I don't know why it costs like 2,000. Um. Try to build Avenger. And after that, I can probably send Lightning away to the other base as well. Then we have some kind of uh, air defense going in both bases. And after I get this going, it's probably still a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. How long does it take? 28 days, wow. That take a month. My goodness. What I'm going to do is... Uh, the workshop is being occupied by all of these guys. Yeah, alright. So these guys can still manufacture laser cannons. To sell. Days, yeah. Oh, it takes 28 days. It's gonna stop a lot of our um, activities here. Although we can probably still intercept UFOs and all that, but yeah, the armor is um, a problem because I need to keep manufacturing armor. And I think for the next month or so, it's not going to be possible to engage the aliens in their bases yeah, because I wanted to bring on HWP next time. Apparently, HWP does not get affected by the side attacks. Okay, so what can I sell? I think I need to sell a lot of stuff here to try to evade getting caught in the... Uh, alien power source? I guess I can sell like a few of them. Just want to sell like one right now. I think I probably need... Yeah, I think I try to keep this. Uh, just sell some weapons. And... Um... Equipment, yeah, sell some of these instead. What else can I sell? Uh, alien grenade, I guess, does cost a lot. Stun rod, motion scanner, high explosives. So we prepared to absorb the cost here. Just trying to build the ultimate craft. It's gonna serve us rather well, I think. And uh, in terms of weapons, it's going to be similar, like plasma cannon with the avalanche missiles for the um, yeah for the Avenger. And um, I think I guess I need to build another plasma cannon then, because the lightning has um, lightning has the. Yeah. Right now, Lightning is on the intercept duty, so I don't want these guys to take along to some kind of mission. And then, if this, you know, in the unfortunate case where it gets lost, then everybody will be lost too on the craft. So, just want to uh, empty the cargo here for now. And then, um, yeah, into that. This has a plasma beam, which is pretty strong and has ammo, unlike laser cannon. And other than that, I don't think I have um, extra plasma cannons. I need to either build it or... I think I need to build it. So I need to build a plasma beam. Um, I have a lot of laser cannons, but to build it, it's going to require 226,000. So the Avenger might just use avalanche missiles for now, going against smaller craft. Let's see... Yeah, so let's see what else I have. I have two stingrays, one avalanche, this one, and two cannons. I guess I can sell cannons if I can. Do I have, um, yeah, I can sell cannons and uh, cannon rounds. I don't think this is useful anymore. 
Just leave one. All right, so UFO detected, large, very high supply ship, North America. Okay, so he's supplying, trying to supply the base here. Item arriving, all these arrived at Lotus. Okay. Yeah, so they're ready also to make this guy arrive, that's good. And even if you attack the supply ship when you land it, it will have been a night mission, which I really want to avoid for now. Almost at the end of the month, we're going to decommission our scientists, engineers. Okay. So need to add to the manufacturing capacity. And here as well, while you're researching all this, Okay. Average speed right now. And manufacturing needs to add 60 and then it's gonna decrease by around around a week, I think. Or a few days. If there's a UFO that contains sack toys though, I think I need to intercept it. And then try to crash it, crash land it, because it has a high probability of having a sector commander, which um is on the mutant supply ship. Yeah. Yeah, so they're trying to use a knight, I guess, to move around, which is pretty smart of them. You can check the graph, and you can see the amount of activity picking up across. Europe is safe for now, but Australia, Asia, Asia is in trouble right now. And South America is being a hotbed of activity. North America is being taken over, so yeah, you can see that North Africa is now picking up, which is very worrying. Check the finance is in the colors. Okay, so what can I do? I'm just kind of get antsy when time passes by without me doing anything because I feel that I'm missing out or something or I'm just losing out. Where aliens are making progress every second. Checking out the soldiers here. We have 60 engineers, 85 scientists. I think it's a pretty good amount. I'm tempted to like bring in more engineers to work on the workshop here, but it's all full. And how things are going here? 16 hours to get 100,000, I think. Yeah, around 100,000 extra cash to prepare for the shock of the funding levels. All right, so here it's a Lotus. Just completed laser cannons, got some money back. I can build Firestorm here. Gonna cost around 400,000. I can build it now. And decommission the... Yeah, I think it's time to decommission one interceptor. At Lotus. Now I'm going to um, unequip one of the crafts here. I think it was this one. How about this one? It's a laser cannon avalanche. Okay, the same thing. Yeah. I think I'm gonna decommission interceptor 2. Yeah, I'm making a right decision, hopefully. Yeah, so one is gone. So, how does it change our funding levels or our cost level? So it goes down by 500,000. Do I need a firestorm? I don't know. I think I might need a firestorm or lightning for that matter. Just check in UFOpedia, which is a better interceptor. I think the firestorm is going to be more specialized in intercepting ability or duty. Just have a look. Yeah, the biggest thing is it has two pods. The lightning has only one pod. There's really no question this is a better fighting vehicle. Damage capacity 500. Damage capacity, wow, this is really light. Sorry if it blinds you. Uh, damage capacity 800, well armored. 
Uh, but less speed. Yeah, less speed than the other one. So Firestorm could be pretty good in, um, you know, conjunction with Avenger or even Sky Ranger if I can. Well, Sky Ranger is not going to be used anymore because of the cost involved. I think it costs around 600,000 instead of 500,000. Uh, even more than 500,000 for interceptors. So yeah, there's really no question I cannot really use it anymore. I just rather build it and maintain it using Illyrium. I think this caused Illyrium to function. It's one of the shortcomings. Yeah, but I think I need to manufacture right now um, laser cannons. Just need to keep the funding level up. And then uh, if I get the um, Avenger, If I get the Avenger, then I'm going to send Lightning over to the other base and use Avenger exclusively here for a while before I can have more funding. Then I'm going to be going for Firestorms. Blaster Launcher completed. So this is apparently one of the most powerful weapons available in this game. So aimed only one type of shooting mode and it's not going to miss most of the time. Accuracy 120%, TU cost 66%. This is an alien guided missile launcher. Guided missile launcher fires powerful blaster bombs. When you click to fire the weapon, it will generate waypoint for the blaster bomb to follow. When you have positioned enough waypoints, click on the special launch icon. So it, it can follow waypoints that you can place, and then if you place enough waypoints, then you'll be able to follow that direction and blast there, which is probably why it is really useful in time space or crowded space like in alien base. And also need to research blaster bomb, which is going to be what I'm, what I'm going to be researching next. All right. Okay. So let's uh, research this bomb, which was uh, the bane of our um, operation, our bot operation at alien base one. That was it, right? Yeah. So I think it's going to take similar length of time. Oh, there are things going. Okay, already uh, one week passed. Yeah, so it's gonna come pretty quick. Hopefully. And two days left. That's good. And there's no research here. Although I should be researching some aliens here. I have two alien containment. Probably should send all the aliens over at Lotus. Where the interrogation is going to go on. Okay, so small, very high, large scout. Alien retaliation. Okay, I guess I need to go up against these guys. It's a large scout though, so... I send both of them just to be sure that I get this guy. I think one is able to catch up with the other guy. Yeah, so this is going to be rather interesting because... Beautiful hit. Wow, this is really powerful. And it lands right on the ocean. Yeah, it's really powerful and long range. So... That's good. And... Um, just trying to check whether this thing is being uh, refueled by the... Um, wow, Interceptor 4, not the one I want. Rearming, okay, so this probably requires uh, Illyrium to fuel. I just want to check whether I can read the information. 405... I guess it doesn't really take a lot of Illyrium to fuel. But definitely prove that Muton, our scout. Okay, so lightning is ready. So let's go there and then have a look once again. Okay. Standard attack. Beautiful hit. Crash lands, and this is our target. Next target. Morning has to arrive, but yeah, I need to fill these guys up now. It's already ready. Wow. All right. Cool. 
So it seems like the rookies will need to go up first. And some of them will definitely have some armor to get some of these guys some experience before we do some um, the other missions. Try to tackle the alien base if the sector is not appear. I'm sure that they do appear sometimes, but it's, right now it's all mutants. Check the armor here. Yeah, so all this armor needs to be taken off. I'm really waiting until the end of the month where I don't know what the assessment is going to be like. Right. Yeah, and then equipment wise, I think we are good. I think we are good. You can now use the blaster launcher. No, not yet because you don't have the bomb researched yet. Yeah, we have one mine probe. Yeah, we are ready to go. Just need to wait for the morning. And um, this, yeah, I just want to clear the end of the month. Probably need to wait until the next episode. Alright, so once again, thank you so much for watching. Next episode, we try to recover this VFO. Um, yeah, so far, it's been pretty quiet. Quite a few weeks. I guess it's a dynamic difficulty, kind of, once again, activating. Uh, giving us a bit of a breathing space. Uh, we made few progress. We are now constructing um, ultimate craft called Avenger. And here we are just keep producing some laser cannons to shield our finances from cratering into nothing. I have decommissioned one interceptor to save on the cost and before the month is over I think I'll do the same with the other one. So we'll be basically out of our craft over Lotus, but since I kind of proved that Lightning is able to do well against the uh, small craft, which is our primary target for now, I try to keep using it until the Avenger is constructed, and Avenger is probably going to be equipped with laser cannons and avalanches and all that. I think you'll be able to withstand some attacks before we can get the plasma weapons cannons constructed for it. Yeah, I can do other configurations such as unloading the plasma cannon from lightning and then give it to the avenger along with the missiles or can uh, yeah leave one laser cannon for lightning one at lotus um yeah I'll do all sorts of stuff so still a lot of possibilities monthly cost right now is still pretty bad 2.7 million but it's better than actually going down the like 3.2 million down the hole yeah in the red so yeah i think i also get rid of this before the month is over, try to keep it to 2.1 million or so. And hopefully, because the month has been rather quiet, uh, the funding level will tick up a bit. And then uh, we can think about, yeah. Yeah, I made some mistakes here. Um, I realized that alien containment should be built. Uh, although, I'm not so sure like whether I should dismantle it right now or uh, build it and then try to use it. Uh, and I heard that I don't really need large radar system with hyperwave decoders. So I'm paying for maintenance fee for this one too. So I'm bleeding like a lot of money. Uh, the problem is I'm going to have a hard time in trying to, you know, I don't think I can actually sell this or dismantle this facility because the facility is here connected to it. So I need to figure out how to make it work. Maybe I can build like a really cheap facility here. Uh, I think that's not going to be possible. Yeah. So I think the easiest thing to do is just use it. Use the larger radar. And then if I really need a space, then I probably have to dismantle this hangar. Well, anyways, yeah. So that's going to be all in next week. Once again, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Hello everybody, once again, thank you so much for joining me in Enemy Unknown. Yeah, so in the last episode, we got some uh, scare, but then was able to get out of it. Uh, the scare being that we almost lost profit and we are now out of support.
Um, well, I mean, we have a couple support, but they're not really that experienced. Another thing is I was able to find some use for the Assault Captain, and he proved himself to be very useful in some tight situations in the terror mission. I was able to use his alloy cannon to dispatch a couple of very tough foes. Just have to be up close and personal and get some critical hits. Right now we are almost finished with the ship project. And then uh, I guess we need to think about purchasing more of these in order to really expand the shiv usage. I don't know whether I'm making the right decision. I'm now in a situation where I need to develop some of my guys who are psionics and to increase their skills and to bring in shiv might stunt their growth because I'll be relying on more on this than the guys who might need experience. But what the heck, I just went all in, so... And um, yeah, just before I forget, I also think that I need to uh, try out this, but then uh, not right now. I'll make sure production begins immediately, and as soon as we've got something, I'll be in touch. Okay. And then we interrogate the muton and then do sector pod autopsy. This seems to be, I think these are the second guys or third guys, live specimens that we are interrogating. We interrogated. Ironically, the Berserker first, then now uh, we are doing the Muton. Yeah. It's a similar type of reaction uh, to Berserker. He was also hitting the, the tube or the glass in order to get out, you know, rage. Blood rage, I guess. But anyway, so let's continue with the scanning. And hopefully, Daniel is going to recover in time before we get to another mission. So, we completed muton research, intergame mutons, but it was pretty quick. So, what does this tell us? On first impressions, the Captain Muton would appear to be among the least intelligent of any of the alien species we've encountered. Hulking and brutish in form, we are surprised to discover a great deal of knowledge had been ingrained in the subject's memory. We realized during the interrogation process that it was only logical for the aliens to provide the Muton with a complete understanding of their weaponry and tactics, as this beast represents their most formidable frontline combatant, not surpassed by Muton Elite. Uh, quite resistant to our techniques, Despite heavy sedation, we learned a great deal from the captive about the alien weaponry, particularly their advanced plasma-based armament. Too late though, we already researched every plasma weapon that we can. Uh, yeah, so I mean, there was a bit of waste, but still it's good to know uh, what makes Muton tick. This heavily armored unit is fully mechanized, though we're still not sure if it has an organic component within. Okay. So, yeah, mystery of sector pods. So we're going to learn about the sector pod next. And this is all the stuff they researched. And I think we almost uh, got all of the um, research part of the XCOM operations. So it doesn't seem that we need to hire or build more laboratories. Just need to concentrate on uh, building the workshop because it's going to affect the project speed and the completion of satellites and all that. Speaking of which, let's check out the facility and we are now building... We're just excavating right now. We'll build satellite uplink after it is done. Or Nexus. Let's see if I can build it right now. Yeah, we can build the uh, Nexus too. But I don't think we need to build it because uh, we already have um, almost every country. It's not converted or that's not left the uh, XCOM basically covered all the nations so just build one more nexus and it's going to be it I think I'm gonna build it beside the uh, another satellite uplink to get the bonus but I don't think I really need to do that yeah so right now the council I think you know seems to be okay uh, some, some are panicking right now but I don't think it's really affecting their funding um, the Europe is going to be covered as well as Argentina and uh, it looks like this is our weakest link right now aside from the fact that we don't have any support so yeah 
need to get more guys ready with the plasma cannon or fusion lance. So Africa probably is going to be covered because it has not only the new UFO like interceptor but also the best weapon available. I'm gonna transfer this to uh, maybe Asia or Europe. Yeah, Europe first. Yeah, Europe first. And then gonna build another plasma cannon. I think that that is what I should be building. Plasma cannon. I can build EMP cannon. But plasma is cheaper, right? Yeah, definitely cheaper, so I build one. And it's already built, I think. Good. Fitted with the plasma cannon. Uh, for South America, I think. Gonna take 24 hours. Okay. Apparently this was the UFO interceptor. I think it's called Firestorm. And it had like avalanche missile, so not have been served very well. And then I guess I could retire some of these guys. Dismiss ship. And then it's going to reduce the amount of the upkeep. Okay. Oh no, UFO is landed. That's not good. Of Doctor. Is it big? I don't think it's big, but it might have like some crazy uh We might have some crazy stuff on it. Alright, so stroke heavy. We don't have any support which is very bad. Uh, let me just go to the briefing. Is it going to affect Canada? I don't know. Let's view the soldiers here. Who can we bring in? Aside from... Yeah, I think we should uh, think about bringing some snipers. But then, can you build a ship? Can you build it right away? Not here. To probably build it from here. Alloy shift. Okay. Um, there's one shift about to be built. There's something called hover shift. Wow. I can't build it right now though. Um, I wonder how strong this guy is. I don't think it is that strong. Does the ship need to have a plasma cannon to be fitted? Yeah, it could be possible. But yeah, I think I need to Contact bring all detected. the folders this time. Um, we can probably get out if we, are, if we find some very harsh conditions. Okay, some of these guys can be... Um, is this the best we can bring? Okay, so we have another sniper. Guess this could work. Let me see. Okay, so sniper rifle, it's not that great. Yeah, if I were to bring Luca, I need to probably get another plasma sniper rifle. And, um, alien grenade. Uh, I need another medikit. Medikit. And medikit, medikit, medikit. And uh, scope for this person. And back to briefing, we see, uh, oh, okay. Although this robot is neither alive nor sentient, it is strangely self-aware of its surroundings. We are still uncovering the functional details for this species, but from what we've seen so far, this machine is a masterpiece of technology. Extremely intricate program that's implanted in their micro macro processors. This combat control program, combined with the sector pulse imposing 10 meter frame, makes for an extremely dangerous weapon. Powered by the same energy source that fuels the alien craft, this machine is built on parallel destructive power. Wonder what kind of weapons they have because I remember them shooting some kind of missiles unobstructed by anything. 
and that's why the prophet right now daniels is in uh, infirmary right now recovering from almost death experience um so has like big missile attack and also some kind of a laser attack heavy plasma possibly Initial information regarding the specimen's technical abilities may be available in the field if another of these machines is targeted in the unit analysis view. So I need to make use of that view in order to know what this guy is bringing to the battle. And something called advanced construction project available in the foundry. Okay, so this advanced fabrication processes um, could be purposed to accelerate XCOM's vehicle and facility construction. At a significant cost, of course. Oh my goodness. What is this? Advanced construction. Oh, we need two sector pod, right? Wow. Okay. So it does accelerate the manufacturing. Contact okay. Detected. Um, okay. Once again, we need some uh, protection. So these ladies will stay behind. I think she's going to benefit from some heavy armor. <laughs> Never used this before on the sniper, but I think I need to do that for this. I forgot to make a plasma rifle. Foundry. And yeah, I forgot to build a plasma rifle. Sniper rifle. We need 22 alloys. Okay, so I cannot build it. I can manufacture alloys here. I can sell. I can sell stuff to get more credits, but not the alloys. In um, UFO defense, I can make alloys, but not here. Yeah, and then I just spent the sector pod corpse on the research. That's why there's really no corpses available. So I need to kill two more sector pods in order to get the project going, advanced construction. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's a doctor class. I don't know what this class is. Is it big or small? We'll see. Be very careful this this time. So she's going to be a bit of a scout. Um, but then with no... Um, I mean, she's not going to be benefiting from the skeleton suit. Can I build a ghost suit? Sorry, I'm just keep going back and forth here. Can I build ghost suit? Ghost armor. I need more alloy. Okay. Contact detected. Yep. So time is still ticking. Need grenade, medikit, sniper, medikit. Let's go. So three medikits. And tiny plating with uh, this person. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, it could be very difficult. Um, I had a really bad experience in trying to tackle the landed UFO in Canada. And um, Prepare for deployment strike apparently one. the Canadians didn't mind be failing spectacularly. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Reports indicate the UFO is set down in a sparsely populated area. A farm we or something. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Quebec. And the maple syrup. Roger that big sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Oh, extreme Current caution, yeah, it looks like unknown. a big UFO, big stinking UFO. Uh, I don't know, can I really tell? Oh yeah, this is a big UFO. We might be in for a fight, that's for sure. At least we have the Sky Ranger ready to rescue us if we are in trouble. Doctor class. So this is a uh, doctor means it's a big, huge class. I'm um, bringing the heat ammo too with Jello, so it's going to be effective against, at least uh, in certain aspect, against Sector Pond. They confirmed it, the research confirmed it, no organic materials in that thing. The landed UFO, so 
Look at those poor cows that have been um, mutilated. Yeah, poor cows. Okay, Cyclops, what can you do? Jones. Usually you do overwatch after everybody has moved. Laser is not gonna cut it this time. So battle scanner can be used rather well. I think Bars mentioned uh, using the battle scanner to see what is going on. And I definitely do that very soon. Just that I need to be a bit closer to throw into the supply ship. Looks like a supply ship. It's a subductor ship, but it looks like a supply ship. What's making that noise? You can tell this is a subductor ship because all the pods, all the pods that they're using to abduct or you know contain the materials that they have abducted. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, I don't know how far she can throw here, but I think she can. Big brother is online. Um, I hear. Um... Okay. Um, I hear some. Um... Can she still shoot? No. I hear heavy floaters. Yeah, everybody ready with Overwatch? Hey, floors are known to move around very quickly, so... Right, but they're not showing up. Still not showing up. Okay. To get to the map. She can go here, or maybe here. You can shoot pretty far. Yeah, she's going to stay here for for a long time. As long as the squad side is active. Can she move here or I think I just move here. There's really no time requirement, so I just want to be very careful in how I place my guys. Because <laughs> uh definitely um you know, learn my lesson last time. I need to tackle this kind of ship. So I need to move this guy and see. Yeah, it's a huge ship. I cannot read really how huge this is. This is like the largest ship I've ever seen, aside from the battleship that we got as part of a DLC. This is huge. So she, um, yeah, she's still uh, not high enough level to take advantage of low, low lying cover. Um, these guys are all, um, it's considered that they are in high covers. So one of the feet that they receive as they gain more experience. She can still use the yeah she has the opportunist so it's not going to suffer that much by using overwatch it's coming from inside so oh no actually scratch that these guys are the first up yeah they're hanging around the one side of the uh, we are going to do the overwatch and this guy will come back at least uh, we know where they are i don't want to um, activate more than one pod if necessary yeah, hopefully she's going to also be also do overwatch and um can stay here i think let's see what happens 
Definitely can't do the watch. Tap. Okay, one's done. Double tap, yeah. Unfortunately, he's dead and gone, so we're going to do just this. Keep Overwatch, and I think I'll move her top side. Or maybe her top side. Better accuracy that way. And she's going to maybe move here. Better position, possibly. Okay, so yeah, we could have been uh, trapped by two pods if you're not careful. Okay, one's dead. It's good Overwatch. And you can do uh, some. More guys are coming in possibly from here as well, but right now they're staying back, I think. Alright, so how far... This seems to be okay. Okay, and... Uh, 77 is pretty good. 9 and... Okay, so... Squad side could help. Uh, squad side is not available, unfortunately. Oh, squad side is not available for her because, yeah, of course, she's not squad side sniper. She's a squad side sniper. Good job. Yeah. So we are returning them down. Good. And. Okay. Going to Overwatch. And this yeah this. So she can do anything. I hear more guys very close by. The thing is this guy does not have the run and I mean this guy has something other than lightning reflexes, so he's going to get hit if um returns are doing some kind of overwatch. I think this guy could reload. Rock and roll. Yeah, very effective so far. On the other side, so we will be uh, found by aliens if you're not careful. Let's see what's going on here. Enemy oh my gosh, yeah, this is the same thing that we faced before. <laughs> and these guys will. Uh, come very quickly okay well 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 look what we have here okay Throwing grenade. come here and then we finish them okay how can we do it? We need some kind of crowd control. Dude, look, I can take care of that. I need to um, control those mutants first. I need six. Do look, uh, do look. Why did you do that for? I don't understand that. Gosh darn it, you missed a big chance. And you, you are just... Can't believe how much you failed so spectacularly there. Is to kill this guy. Can you? He... 
just get the chrysalid and then double tap the mutant or the berserker. And you're gonna draw the uh, you're gonna draw this uh, berserker to us in a safe distance from the muton. I don't think he's dead yet. Yeah. Okay. So it's a bit of a yeah. So what this guy should do is uh, try to like run and gun and then shoot this guy really close. But if I can help it, I just try to uh, kill him like right now. Okay. We save the double tap. I'm gonna save that double tap. Don't get panicked, please. Okay, good. Run and gun. Oh, how far can you run? Okay. Cannot run that far, unfortunately. Okay, well, you gotta do this. Yeah. Rapid fire and 84. Do it. Wow. He just got obliterated. Alright, and we don't see anybody, right? So. They might be able to shoot. Especially this guy. Sheesh. It's her fault. Anyways. Yeah. Let's face the music. We will get out if something really bad happens. Oh, mutants didn't see us. Okay. I think they're trying to overwatch. But we can now set up once again because the mutants didn't move. That's very interesting. And now he can move here, perhaps, or some kind of yeah, some kind of cover. This is fine too. And yeah, hopefully she can redeem herself soon. And they're gonna appear, right? What was that sound? Nope. They're not appearing. Have a look. I think you should just reload. You cover for us. There are only two mutants nearby. And they have... I think the mutant has uh, run away. I think I wait one more turn. And now she's going to reload. We're green to go. Definitely mutants are still around. I don't think we're alone out here. Yeah. Let's uh, use this guy to see what is going on. Alright. Yeah, they're moving. They decided to move and then uh, draw all this fire. Hopefully some of them, at least some of them did. 21. There's probably another one coming out. Okay, this guy will have a look. Uh, here? Yeah, it's a... Uh... Okay, uh, squad sign active, but maybe here. Okay, this is not good. Yeah. Just... Just cover the area with overwatch and see if this guy can come out. And... He's staying put. Yeah, he he ran away. <laughs> Probably trying to draw us in or something. But we're not budging. It's overwatch from here on out. We're not budging one spot from where we are. <laughs> oh, he's trying to flank us from the back. That's pretty smart. Yeah, two paws, I think. Bring friends, possibly. Okay. 
Uh, how about some... Okay, how about you? 61, okay. She cannot do it. Alright, no shot. How about you? No shot from here? Okay, so Shimizu's turn to make use of the high ground. Good job. Good job. Yeah, let's do one more of these. High ground definitely working well. And still the battle music continues. So somebody's out there. Is it here? I don't hear anything. I don't see anything. Come on out. Yeah, hear mutants and berserkers possibly. Can draw him out, right? I think we should concentrate our uh, effort. A squad side may be available from this side as well, but I don't know. Just need to be very careful. See if I can move up here. Right. Yeah, we take one side now. We take this side. Not gonna spread out. Dalo has to uh, move here. Yeah. It's a really big, big ship. I don't think we even. Um, I think this is probably similar um, size as the supply ship. It's differently constructed. And uh, from what I can see, it's a big door here, but of course that is a uh, entry for a trap or ambush. Uh, just need to think of different ways to enter here. I guess there's like some kind of ladder that we can make use of. Have a better idea of where we can enter, uh, but a huge ship, really wide ship. Come down and then come up. Okay. I don't think we're alone out here. Yeah. So let's just wait. The Shimizu? Yeah, Shimizu. Come over here. Can you go up? Oh no, there's really nobody up there. Well, side is active. to approach us from so we just keep overwatch active and then see what we can um, find uh, using the yeah don't want to rocket yourself there using our assault captain i think he's coming from inside right now so could be pretty dangerous once again. I don't really see anything from here. Let me see what you can find. Apparently, he's, I cannot see anything, so maybe just should try to breach the main hall. There's two entryway into the main hall though. Gotta decide what to do. Yeah, come over here and then see. Okay. 
So we destroyed three mutons, three heavy floaters, and one berserker. Hey, you hear anything? I think there are definitely more. Let's get the snipers prepared to enter the main hall here. Okay, let me see if I can move her back here and then I move Skittles here. Dalo can wait and this guy should be coming down. Okay, and um, yeah, keep moving. Mizu is going to move here. See what happens. Okay, definitely coming from the ship. Pretty close by, I think. So we'll see them soon enough. This guy could um, come over here and then try to use the covers to advance toward the main entryway, main ramp. Back you go, high ground. He's going to slowly make his way. here Mutons, perhaps Mutant Elite Alright, so let's use you to slowly get once again Dash over here. Still has a rocket. Prepare for the second pods. Right in front of us. Hey, you hear anything? I hear you. I hear them loud and clear. Just make sure that I need to be prepared here because I know what's going to happen if I just rush in. I lose a assault captain, then it's going to be uh, just. Alright, they're just staying food or something? Okay, so there's a door. I guess I can move up a bit. Follow the leader. Stay together except for Shimizu who might uh, also move. Yeah, she's going to move to another high ground. Okay, now it's uh, coming from some other direction. Oh, all right, we see him. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's just finish the guy. Hundred percent. He's exposed. Bye -bye. Give me the alloys. Give me the alloys. Sweet, sweet alloys. Wish I brought some of the psionics, but I really can't, uh, you know, leave it to chance. What kind of enemies they're going to face? Hey, 
Yeah, so more and more guys will come out. Yeah, and then Berserker perhaps. Um, can you shoot? From here? I just want her to get some experience. Okay. 76% is not too bad. Alright, let's view fire. Okay. That was a unexpectedly good shot. I hear a berserker too, so gotta wait. I don't know why the berserker didn't pop up. They're usually the first guys to get out. And then announce their uh, arrival. So, once again, quiet. Listen for the sounds. No sound. Let me see what we can find here. We take the left hand side. Yeah, I mean, the ramp here is really spacious. Look at how big this ramp is. I don't know how actually they make it work. I mean, it has to... I guess this whole part just goes up, blocking this uh, ship's entryway. It's a huge ship. Hopefully you get some huge amount of alloys. And maybe Illyrium as well. Now she can move here. And Jello, um, here. Right. All right, I hear sectoids, but can't be too sure. Have a look. Yeah, so this is a straight up um, into the alien. Um, ship and it's clear so uh why don't you stay here then and we just take one side and then uh hope for the best actually there's a ramp um that leads to the same place there's a room here um, there's a huge uh, room that opens up and then possibly navigation here yeah, it's a huge ship, like I mentioned. Just have to take the side, and I think I take both sides. Let's go up the ramp with the guys with a uh, lot of movement, and um, these guys will just follow. Okay. Always be behind some kind of cover. Listen for the sounds. You hear that? Yep, tech toys. And this guy will go up here and then open the door next turn. He's going to get ready. Just in case. You know the other snipers we get ready as well. Um, I think she's going to be I don't know, maybe she should just stay. Yeah. Just wondering whether she can still make use of the high ground on the ramp here. I just open the open the way this um, door. I don't know, some kind of a force field and then decide what happens next. The sectoid will be definitely the commander, the psionic kind. Okay, just go in there like that, huh? Okay. Yeah, you see some of these things, uh, but then I'm not gonna move one inch from where we are, where that guy is, and then follow up. Alright, can 
Jaja can also go up there. It seems to be empty, most likely. Yeah. Quiet. Did you hear something? I only hear the sectoid commanders. Um, unfortunately, we didn't bring any um, implement to capture the sectoid commander. Look over here and you come back if something is amiss. Alright, it seems to be empty. That's good. That's really good. Uh, how about Jalo? He's gonna check the door over there. Duluka still has tons of movement points. She can stay. Um, Maybe here. Um, I think here would be better. Sometimes you gotta be very careful where you uh, pick as the destination because sometimes it just seems to indicate she's going to go down the ladder, which I really don't want. Yeah, it seems to be pretty empty. So I kind of believe that those guys um, we just fought are the only guys that Darians brought after the whole crazy army that they brought with the sector pod and the mutant elite. Maybe mutant elite are all like inside waiting for us. Okay. Yeah, they might be like hanging around here too. So we'll see whether we can track them. But since that only sound that is closest to us is uh, coming from the navigation room. We slowly head there. Yeah. Um, really don't want to be surprised. Okay. Is there a ramp that connects the... Yeah, there's a ramp, I think. There's like a ladders and other areas where they can climb up. A bit problematic if there's any aliens about, but I don't hear anything from there. Only from inside the room. Yeah, so definitely sector commanders. Is this... Uh... Yeah, so seems to be this is the end of the ship. So we just get rid of that guy. Yeah, see whether we can just rocket them and then uh, blow them to smithereens. And use the aerial cannons to do some critical hits. And use the lasers in order to. Yeah, in order to fight them off. Now, right now, she's going to also maybe here. Yeah, no Sinex. Some of them have low will, but most of them are veterans, so they might be able to resist. But I haven't really um, seen the instance where these guys were able to resist the Sinex attacks completely. Let's open. And here, here we are. Two of them. Yeah. They're on the move. Crap. Alright, so run and gun and get this guy first. Um, I get my guy. Alright up here. Okay, no more aliens, that's good. Rapid fire. Bye bye. Hostiles pacify. Critical. That's good. Now we can. Um, it's a really good chance to. Um, this might break down their cover. Yeah, it's 
could have been a really good chance to capture it, but I, you know, expected far more resistance. You missed right in front of your nose. That's why... That's why we are going to lose. Alright, you're gonna laser pistol him to death. Um, well, he's flanked, so maybe critical possibility. Four. Duluka, where are you? You can still use the thing, right? Yeah. From here? See how good you can shoot. Okay, so 4-4 four, four and bam. What the doctor ordered. That's uh... Seven, I think, right? So let's try this. Headshot. Headshot. Hands on? Oh, good, excellent. All objectives complete. Okay, so this was way easier than the other one. I don't know uh, what's also different about this, but at least I know that abductor ships are not heavily fortified or really that dangerous. So in terms of mission difficulty, this would have been a difficult mission, not very difficult. Should have used uh, it cyanics if that. I knew beforehand. Not a, single not a single casualty. Not even a nick. Yeah, so we got some um, flight computers, damage alien surgery, I don't know why it got damaged. We got 56 Illyrium and 172 alien alloys. That's a pretty good haul, yep. That's a very good haul, and now we can make some things. Uh, we can... Let's see what we can build. We can probably build, yeah, we can build ghost armor, and we can build firestorm, but then we don't... We have to choose what to build, and I think I'm gonna build this first. And... Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we can still build it right away. It's not going to take a lot of time. It's not gonna take any time, so... Oh, we have alien grenade. Uh, yeah, we need live alien grenade. And I think Jalo has it. He needs to unload it. And maybe I should do that right now. I don't know how many weapons fragment we have. And this is advanced flight, which allow hover ship design. So maybe you should get this. Because we are going all in uh, the ship. Does this take time? I think it does. 162, it's a huge amount. 25 Illyrium, 25 Alloys, 2 Heavy Folder Corpses, 2 Cyber Disc Wreck. Okay. The foundry is already warmed up. I'll make sure to notify you as soon as production is finished. Yeah. So waiting for Daniel to be recovered fully. All right, our first shift, normal variety shift. Um, yeah, not that impressive looking, but still going to serve us. Workshop rebate, one credit, big whoop. So we built that thing, we should wait it. There's alloy shift we can build. And can it use Okay. So ship plasma is going to take two days. So let's build another ship called alloy ship. Because I don't think this will last any long. Uh, hover ship, huh? No, I think this is the most powerful. I put in an order, and yeah, that's it. I chose ship. Um before I can build anything else. So what is this? Oh, hyperwave. Wait, what did you do? Shut it down. Do not yeah. touch anything. Shut it down. This could be what we've been waiting for. No, I'm not ready for it. Uh, you don't did it, man. Uh-oh, story is happening. It's ripping itself apart. 
Shut it down now. We could destroy the whole base. Yeah, where's the plug? Shut it off. Give it time. For once. Trust me. What's it doing now? It's working. Oh. Sir, it's yellow now. New data is inbound from the hyperwave uplink. Man, is this this dramatic? Goodness. There's like one purple one that seems special. This gamble seems to have paid off. Oh wow. We've endangered the lives of everyone involved to satisfy the doctor's curiosity. Intercept. The risk was worth the reward. Overseer. If we hadn't pushed on, there's no way we would have gotten this information. Uh oh. Overseer UFO. Is this some kind of time limited thing? I'm in trouble. But I have no other choice but to accept. Um, I ignore it for now. Because uh, I'm still waiting for Daniels is in recovering. So this is going to make a lot of trouble, right? So how is our... Um, how is our uh, African African air presence? Oh, we have fusion, fusion lands and a firestorm. Okay, I guess we can... I think maybe doable. Maybe doable. But I want to wait until some of these things are done. Like a ship plasma. And we are using hover ship. Yeah, I want to wait until this is over. Alright, so Daniels is uh, recovered. That's good news. And we have now alloy ship. Other ship. Okay, wow. This uh, is floating. I still don't have plasma though. I don't know what's wrong with that. Side testing all about to be done. Feel the result. Cross your fingers. No gift for everybody? That's not good. Okay, so maybe we can check the shifts. Thunder and lightning. Cool. And you can see that these guys have now plasma and has a um, pretty interesting number. Um, HP only 10. Okay, maybe we can dismantle this. Um, I don't know whether this... I don't think this is going to really help us gain any experience. I don't think this gains any experience other than uh, just help us uh, locate troops or enemies and serve as an impromptu uh, shield. Now this guy has a way better... way better stat. So I'll be using this instead of the... I mean, I probably use Thunder first, but then it's going to be soon replaced by Lightning. Okay, that's cool. And uh, I think I can fix this on the field because of the one of the Foundry projects allow me to do so. Which is called... Um, I think I already did upgrade. Ship Repair. Yeah, so we can use that Arc 4 as medikit for the ships. Okay, I don't have any uh, psionics, so I need to wait until. Um, Incoming transmission. You've done an the, okay. job yeah, I ignore that. Threat over the course of this past month, Commander. However, we still believe there is room for improvement in your. Yeah, efforts. so it definitely does put a damper on the finances. I think. We will be in touch, Commander. All right, so I lost that overseer UFO, which. Um, we use hyperwave decoder to track. Uh, one thing I need to do is hire more soldiers and to dismiss some of these guys. Um, 41, 71, 36, I yeah, dismiss this guy. And how about this guy? Another sniper? Well, no, I'm gonna dismiss him. There's too, too many snipers. How about this guy? 55, 70? Yeah, okay, um, I'm okay with that. So I dressed um, her up as a, some kind of flaming um, neon color to differentiate these guys, these Ionics from the soldiers because they're special, I guess. Uh, seeing Shan, um, assault guy, we have enough assault, dismiss him. Vandenberg, I could probably dismiss. I'm gonna hire three more guys and put them into the side labs. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Great, engineers are We're extending. Always glad to have more help down here. Can build some armor. Okay. Uh, I should build um, because we are doing advanced flight. Maybe I should build a 
Archangel first. And we have enough plasma and we can build some more. We can build one more Firestorm. Because I think we do have the weapons now. We have the weapons. So we can just beat the Firestorm with the weapons. Like plasma, cannon, and uh, can probably uh, dismiss this guy. Yeah, I think I can. Um, after this is built, I dismiss Raven too. Contact detected. Oh, this guy. It's Europe. So what we have in Europe? Um, we have plasma cannon one. Maybe you can try it. Contact detected. Yeah, I can construct a um, defense matrix or something. Dodge. Can make use of it perhaps as we are slinging plasma hot plasma onto that ufo contact detected i don't know how accurate this thing will be okay it might run away seems pretty slow okay call up to the we're ufo so defense initiating defense matrix It's relentless. Okay. Alright. So where is the UFO? Is it in Asia? Contact detected. Damaged. Yeah, we need to have a demon. We're building one right now, so maybe uh Contact detected. Hopefully this one will work. Yeah, I don't know. They're just appearing in places where you don't have any demons or firestorms. Enemy is padlocked. Padlocked. Okay. Can you um, make good use of the padlock? Yeah, I think we'll be able to do this. All right. Yeah. Let's. Uh, that worked. Oh, cool. Yeah. So have we really is able to uh, give us a lowdown here? Um, what to expect? So okay, sector commander. Elite Berserker, new cyber disk, mutant, not too bad. Alright, so let's send Sky Ranger in the next episode. Yeah, so um hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope I can see you next time. And until then, please stay tuned. <laughs>